<sighs> it's so disappointing, man. How people are easily scammed by the fake government officials. Since 2016, there are about 6,800 reports and about 6.4 million is lost. The statistic shows that most of the victims of the China official impersonation scams are from 45 to 54 years old. Hello, who's this? <coughs> Hello, this is BHL. You have a parcel currently held at Beijing Customs. The officers there revealed that it contains the fake passports and illegal items. How do I know this is true? Sorry, one moment. I will transfer you to the relevant authorities now. Good. Hello, I am Beijing Immigration Officer. Please give me your address, passport number, and bank account details. We need this for investigation process. You will be in serious trouble if you don't cooperate with us. Be reminded it is a very serious offence that may be involved with money laundering activities. You must provide us with your particulars and bank account details or you can transfer money to Beijing, China and we will drop the case and not pursue the matter anymore. Okay, I will transfer the money soon. Wow, there are also online shoppers who frequently get scammed. There are 4,600 reports and 1.2 million lost since 2016. I see most of the victims who fall for online shopping scams are from 25 to 34 years old. Hey, how come my camera is still not here yet? It's been three weeks. Huh. This is so interesting man. Besides being scammed on online purchases, people also fall prey to love on the internet. There are about 4,100 reports since 2016 and $25 million lost for the internet love scams. From the statistics, most victims who fall for such scams are from 25 to 64 years old. Hey, bro, bro, you texting? No, no, I've been dating this girl from an online dating app. We've been talking for two months already. Wow, blonde, huh? Where's she from? Oh, she's from Europe. Oh, yeah, she's gonna come here next week to visit me. Only they were more discerning. What are you doing? What? Look at how many people are getting scammed each year. Huh? I'm very sure you are getting scammed right now. How do you know that the person you are transferring money to is a real government official? Do know that government official will never ask you to make payment through the phone. Goodbye. Bro, what are you doing? You know you're being scammed? What? Yes. Well, do you check the seller's past customer and read reviews? Um, no. That's why. Right. Let me teach you how to be a discerning buyer. Alright, always bear in mind that the online party is a stranger. Okay, only buy from online websites with good reputation. Only insist on paying with cash. So, remember the steps to be a discerning buyer. Goodbye. No, bro, what are you doing? You're not getting cheated. Bro, you know you're not supposed to send money to people you do not know, especially you never meet them in person. I don't know. So let me teach you how to protect yourself. First, do not send money to people overseas mm -hmm. whom you do not know. Mm -hmm. Second, do not reveal too much about yourself, particularly your photos and your videos to prevent yourself from getting blackmailed. Uh. Third, please inform the police if anybody tries to extort money from you. Do you get it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Welcome.